So it's that time of year once again, guys. We are now starting to find out some of the FIFA 19 player ratings. Any ratings you've seen so far up to this point have all been subject to change. They've not been the final ratings. So you can disregard all of that when it comes to the top 100 rated players. Anyone 85 rated or more, basically. Because those were probably closer to FIFA 18 ratings. Now we're starting the official top 100 countdown. Today we're looking at 100 to 81. So we're going to be looking at a number of players each day as we get closer to the top 10, the top 3, and of course finding out who the top guy is, the, the highest rated player. I think we all know who that's going to be. He's on the freaking cover, for God's sake. But anyway, the first player we're looking at is Manolas. And look at that pace. Six foot two, low high work rates. If he had a better weak foot, like imagine if he had four star weak foot, I might be tempted to say he might just be one of the best centre backs in FIFA history. He's incredible. He's already very good. But just look at that. Look at that card. I think it might be one of the most popular cards once again. Of course, I don't play Ultimate Team that much, but these ratings apply to career mode at the start of the game before any updates come out. So for career mode fans, Manalas, he'll be available to sign. And I'm guessing Varane is going to be 87, 88 maybe. He's not in this video. He's going to be maybe the best partner to Varane. They're going to be so, so good together just purely because of that pace. So now, up next, we have Mares. I want to make sure every time I move down a player that I don't accidentally show the next one. Although I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already seen these ratings, but of course, I wanted to have my thoughts out there. So I've done this every year. I can't not now. Mares, the new Man City winger from Algeria, 85 rated this year. 85 pace, 79 shooting, 81 passing, 90 dribbling, 37 defense, 59 physical. But he does have five-star skills. Four-star weak foot, left-footed. He is the dream. He really is. He's quick. He's skillful. He plays on the right and he's left-footed. You can't ask for more than that. He is going to be so, so good this year. And very expensive at the start, that's for sure. He's going to be tens of tens and tens of thousands of coins at the start. The only, um, the only worrying thing about him for me is the physicality. He's not going to be very good against, let's say he's running a player like Kyle Walker, although that won't be the case. Maybe Alaba is a better example. He's not going to beat him for pace or physical. So a little bit of an interesting one, that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But he does obviously look very good. Now, up next, this is insane to me. I think there's there's something going on here. Ibra, 85 rated. Don't disagree with that, of course. New signing for LA Galaxy. He's been killing it in the MLS. His pace is 59, man. His pace is 59. His physical is down to 78 as well. Five-star skiller, four-star weak foot, six foot five, Perfect work rates, great. They're doing something here, though. I think, in general, they're going to be destroying players' pace. Just in general, across the board, I think players are going to have less pace in FIFA 19. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be any different to previous FIFAs in terms of players being able to outpace each other, because if everyone's pace has gone down, then there's no real difference. They're still going to be the same ratio, the same distance apart. However, maybe, just maybe, they are tuning it down for certain players. I, d I don't know. We need to see more ratings. Um, but from what I can tell, there are quite a few examples, even in this video, you're going to see where players that have been relatively quick in the past, maybe not Ibra, but certainly have had 70 plus pace, are getting them downgraded massively. Of course, though, Ibra is older now. He's, he's, he's getting towards the end of the career, for sure, his career. Let's move on to the next one at number 97. We have Raheem Sterling. <coughs> My throat. We have Raheem Sterling, who's retained very good pace, but he is one of the quickest players in the Premier League. It's as simple as that. So I'm sure the really fast players will still be fast. I just think in general, though, maybe pace isn't going to be such a high stat anymore. But 93 pace for Sterling. 73 shooting. I'd massively disagree with that. Some of the players that have better shooting than Sterling should be nowhere near close to him. He's done actually very well in the last season and the beginning of this season. His shooting has been very good. And actually it's, well, if you ignore defence and physicality, it's his worst stat, which I massively disagree with. I think, if anything, we should be seeing his pass be his shooting. Swap them around. Even 76 shooting I don't think is right. I, I'd give him maybe 79, maybe 80. Uh, 76 passing, 87 dribbling. Uh, five foot seven, high medium, four star skills, three star weak foot, 
again, will be another very popular choice. And he's going to be fighting with Mares for that position in your team. I personally prefer Sterling just because... I don't know, there's something about the fact that he's got his animation in the game. When he's dribbling with the ball, it looks really cool. Um, but Mares, I think being left-footed, he's going to be a very popular choice. He really is. And now that he's at Man City, I mean, it's just even better, isn't it, than when he was at Leicester. Up next, we have Blaise Matuidi, 85 rated. Still one of the, mo the most well-rounded midfielders in, in world football. Uh, was brilliant at the World Cup. He's been fantastic for Juventus. What a signing he's been. 78 pace, 68 shooting, 77 pass, 79 dribbling, 83 defence and physical. He's still got the high, high work rates, which is good to see. Two-star weak foot, two-star skills, though. Not great, um, but still a fantastic card. And I think that's that's more than deserved. Now we have Asensio, 85 rated, and he still has a massively long neck. It's ridiculous. That is the most elongated neck I've ever seen. But look at his card, 81 pace, 84 shooting. Like, for example, is Asensio better than Sterling at shooting? Maybe marginally, maybe not. It's very, very debatable. Yet he has 84 compared to, what was it, 73? Just completely crazy. That's Real Madrid love for you, isn't it, from their official partners. 83 passing, 85 dribbling, and then his defence and physicality, obviously not as important. But uh, four-star skills, three-star weak foot. I'd have liked to see him as a cam. I'm sure a lot of people will will probably agree with me on that because a winger, Asensio, doesn't really... It doesn't seem to fit that role in FIFA, at least. But, of course, he, he does play a lot on the left side for Real Madrid. But good to see him once again in the top 100. I think he probably deserves to be there. Up next, we've got Milinkovic Savic, 85 rated. I love this guy. I think he's going to be a baller. He already is. He's going to be one of the best players in the world, for sure within a couple of years. Uh, 69 pace, 79 shooting, 80 passing, 82 dribbling, 77 defence, 84 physical. I mean, that is a well-rounded card. Why didn't they just give him one more pace? He'd be part of the 70-plus club. Six foot three, high medium, four-star, four-star. It's going to be difficult to get a better midfielder than him. Him and Pogba together. I mean, if you're looking for a brick house, box-to-box -box midfield, I mean, doesn't get much better than that, than that does it? Although Pogba, he's not in this video. He's not going to be in the next one. I'm guessing he's going to be at least 87, 88 this year. Uh, up next, we've got the right back of Bayern. We've got Kimmich. Sad to see that he hasn't got a bit more pace. He's quicker than people think. But what I am glad to see is his work rates being high-low because that is perfect. He doesn't really get back as much as he... Well, he doesn't need to. He plays for Bayern. They barely need to get back. But his passing... Hopefully his crossing is in the 90s because for me he's probably the best the best fullback in the world in terms of delivering a ball into the box. 68 shooting as well, deserved. Very nice card indeed. And he's got the four-star weak foot as well, which I really like. He reminds me, or this card at least, reminds me of Dani Alves a lot with the high-low work rates. You don't actually see that very often these days, a high-low right back or left back. But he's got it and he will be a very popular choice once again, especially for a... A super sub into midfield, maybe. I think he might be one of the best for that. Up next, we have a striker, Dzeko, ex-Man City, ex-Premier League, of course, and now killing it in uh, in Italy. Six foot four. He's got four-star weak foot as well. He's just got that much better. 85 rated. I cannot believe that. Is he in the top 100 players? I think right now, comfortably, he really is. Very nice card indeed. 85 shooting. Wait, is that more than Asensio? I think Asensio had 86, did he not? I'm going to have to double-check that. There's no way he should have more. No, he doesn't. 84. That's fair enough then. But Dzeko, for me, has been outstanding for Roma. So I'm glad to see him in there. I would have given him high medium work rates. Um, but maybe medium medium's fair. Yeah, it probably is. I don't think there's anything wrong with that necessarily. Up next, we've got Koke. He is 85 rated. Left midfield positioning. He may do that in real life. But of course, in FIFA, you want him down the middle. You really do. 69 pace on the wing is never a good thing. Um, but maybe this FIFA is different, like I've said. 75 shooting, 88 passing. He's going to be up there as one of the best passers in the game. 82 dribbling, 69 defending, uh, and 78 physical. High, high work rates. Four-star weak foot, three-star skills. Very impressive. I love his name, by the way, the uh, Resurrection. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I was playing an app the other week, uh, a football app, and they had that as his name. It was always making me laugh every time he got the ball. Just call him Koke, man. That's, that's what he, he's known as. Now, up next, this might be a bit of a surprise to some people. We have Royce. Actually, not, not much of a surprise because, let's face it, 
he hasn't been at his best for a good few years now. But 85 rated, very, very good card once again. 85 pace, 86 shooting, 82 passing, 80, 86 dribbling. Decent physical, okay defending of course. But the 4 star, 4 star. I'm sure he'll be injury prone in career mode as usual. But he might be one of those players that you can pick up pretty cheap in career mode now. And if you whack him up front, you won't regret it. He's still got an absolute rocket of a shot. And uh, for me, Royce has been one of my favourite players in FIFA for many years. It's a shame he didn't really fulfil that potential. He could have easily been one of the best attackers in the world. And at one point, I think he was, but not anymore. Up next, we've got Felipe Luiz, another 85 rated uh, defender. There's quite a few this year. High medium work rates. I mean, the card speaks for itself. Not the quickest anymore, but still solid, solid choice for any any team that you want to put in a left back, Felipe Luiz will, will do a good job for you. But there's plenty better than him, I think, that are even lower rated. That's just my opinion anyway. Up next, this is another one that's lost his pace. Vincent Company, Injury prone. Yes, he's probably lost a bit of his pace. But still, when you see him running, for me, there isn't many better than Company when he's fully fit. In terms of just being brutal, just tackling the ball and winning the ball, he's quicker than that. There's no doubt he's got 56 pace when you compare it to real life. So I don't think I agree with that, but he's still with 85 defending and 81 physical, one of the best choices you could make in the Premier League. And I'm sure he will still be a popular choice, especially at the start, because he won't be as expensive as some of the other 85 rated players, purely because people only look at pace. If you're looking for a centre back that's just going to dominate the air, be in the right position all the time, make solid tackles, he is going to be still incredible. Up next, we've got Iron Robin. This might be the first time in a FIFA that I can remember where Robin has less than 80 pace. And I look at this card and just think, wow, times have gone by quickly. Robin, no longer speedy, no longer one of the best wingers in the game. It was only a few years ago he was one of the highest rated. It's, it's crazy how fast EA can just destroy your card in the game because he's still up there with the best for sure. 79 pace though is, is, is oof, it's harsh, isn't it? 85 shooting though. 81 pace, 88 dribbling. He will still be incredible in this game. But of course, because of the pace downgrade, because of the overall downgrade, in general, you're going to be seeing a lot less of Robin, I think. Especially compared to, I mean, FIFA 14, 15, he was everywhere. He was in everyone's top teams. Um, but it won't be the case anymore. He's still got two-star weak foot, four-star skills, high-low work rates. You're going to be able to cut in on that, left, on that right side onto his left foot, just like you always have done. Allison up next, 85 rated. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. He's been incredible for Liverpool so far, despite that mistake he made against Leicester. But otherwise, he's probably been the best goalkeeper in the Premier League so far. You might disagree, that's fine. But the stats don't lie. He's, he's, he has been incredible for Liverpool so far, except from that mistake. And it's a very nice card. 88 reflexes, along with 83 positioning. 82 diving as well. Very impressive indeed. And I think he will be one of the better keepers in the game and what a signing he's been for, for Liverpool. Up next we've got Alaba, using him as an example earlier against maybe a Mares. He will technically be faster Mares because he's got a higher pace rating but let's be honest when you've got the ball at your feet in FIFA even the slowest defenders can catch you up. 82 pace, 80 dribbling, 81 defence, 80 passing, 75 physical, 73 shots or shooting. He is a member of the 70 plus club, deservedly so, still one of the best defenders in the world for me and I love him at centre back. If you buy him in career mode, whack him at left centre back or even defensive midfielder. He's so, so good. But of course, brilliant at left back as well. We're edging closer here to the end of this first episode, by the way. We've got Fabinho next, six foot two, of course. Nice, big, strong centre defensive midfielder for, for Liverpool who can't seem to break into the team at the moment. But again, one stat, EA. Give him 70 shooting and you've got another 70 plus player club membership guy whatever you want to call it you know they call it the Hullet gang or something there's there's no way that Fabinho doesn't deserve to be part of that he is one of the most well-rounded midfielders I've seen in a long time I love this guy and um crazy to think he was he was born in the same year as me he's lost about the same hair as me as well respect bro um, why do you think I wear a hat? 71 pace, 69 shooting, 78 passing, 77 dribbling, and a massive 84 defence, 84 physical. Damn, I cannot wait to use him in FIFA 19. And now we have Vidal. Whew, 57 pace. 
Yeah. Um, no. I don't... No. No, no, no. Uh, 50, 57 pace. Vidal has not got that slow. I'm sorry, but that is just... Give him 60. Even that's low, but at least it doesn't look so bad. He... he... Oh, it's just, that's mind-boggling to me. Vidal has always been one of those players that has 70-plus in every stat, or even 80-plus back in the day when he'd get a couple of informs. That's not going to be the case anymore. Unless he gets into maybe team of the year, team of the season, whatever it may be, he won't have 80-plus pace. It's crazy, but uh, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Maybe you disagree with, with me and agree with EA, but 57 seems low. Otherwise, fantastic card, and will still be one of the best to use in midfield, I'm sure. But... You might as well use Busquets, who will be cheaper and higher rated and will have about the same pace, which I hope is not true. Busquets should have 40s, 30s if Vidal has 50s. That's just my opinion. Another Liverpool now, another Liverpool player, sorry. Van Dijk. I would have given him 86, personally. I think he's the best defender in the Premier League right now. 71 pace, along with the 70 dribbling. Very good indeed. 60 shooting, 67 passing, but the main ones, of course. 85 defence, 84 physical. Whew, damn, that's very good. Would have liked to see medium-high work rates. I do think he should have high defensive, but again, maybe I'm wrong. And uh, he will be my number one choice for a centre-back if I do go on ultimate team and play with a Premier League side. He goes straight in. Him and ooh, maybe Socrates, because I know for a fact that Socrates is quick. They might not give him enough pace because they don't believe those results from the Arsenal speed test. But if they do believe it and they reflect it, Socrates should be next to Van Dijk if you want a really strong partnership. But um, yeah, Van Dijk's going to be unreal. And now for the final player. As you can see, there are no more here. We have Diego Costa. Not a big fan of this guy. <laughs> he destroyed Arsenal many times. 75 pace, 83 shooting, 64 passing, 76 dribbling. 87 physical along with 49 defense, 6 foot 2, high medium, 4 star weak foot, 2 star skills. Very impressive stats once again for Diego Costa. And he will be a bruiser. He'll be difficult to defend against and annoying to defend against just like every FIFA in the last 5-6 years. So that is it guys. That is going to be the first episode of 5. Unless they toy with us and do the top 10 without the top 3 or whatever. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with these. The only one I'm obviously not particularly in agreement with is Vidal. I mean, if we look at his card again. Where are you, Vidal? There he is. I just don't see that. I, uh, it's kind of a bit sickening. <laughs> 57 pace. Uh, I don't know. And Sterling shooting should be higher, 100%. But thank you for watching, guys. I know you've probably seen these ratings, but hopefully you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on them. Um, the Liverpool career mode resumes tomorrow and of course another episode of this if they release more. Um, I'm going to do the whole top 100 as usual. So thanks for watching, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video very soon.